Hi guys and welcome to Rafalina's American Girl Doll channel. Today I'm going to do a video on an idea I've had for a new American Girl historical doll um, who would actually be an Alaska native uh, doll from 1896. And I show a little bit here on the side a create your own kind of version which I'm going to do at the end um, with a couple different uh, suggestions of like how I envision her looking and I wanted to do this video as well as a series of related videos to kind of give American Girl some idea about diverse characters I think would be really cool for them to incorporate in the future, especially for the historical line, as well as, you know, Girl of the Years could also be fun. But I had this idea of a historical doll and, and it's just there hasn't been an Alaska Native doll yet. And we have a Hawaiian doll now. Um, we've had several modern Hawaiian dolls as well, like um, Kanani. Um, even Jess, and we've had Nanea, who's the historical doll, um, but we haven't had an Alaskan native doll, and we have Kea, who's, uh, she's a Native American from, like, a Plains, um, area, and we have Josefina from New Mexico or Mexico, but we don't have an Alaskan native, and I think that's a big gap, so this is just kind of a few ideas. These are my ideas um, to try to help American Girl to become more diverse. I think it's kind of important for us to share our ideas with them. Um, I know American Girl's on YouTube a lot, and so I'm going to be releasing a few of these videos, highlight some different ideas I have. Again, these ideas are on my own, um, just things I've been thinking about. If you have comments about this, please put it um, in in down below um, but also you know please like this video and I think if it gets a lot of likes maybe American Girl will see it and maybe they will actually uh, think of incorporating some of these elements into their um, new uh, lines and I am excited to see um, what their line will be like that they're releasing uh, later this year but I think it's all contemporary characters and not historical so I think some historical uh, characters would be really cool too. So I was thinking of an Alaska native doll uh, from 1896 because that was when the Klondike Gold Rush happened. Um, again, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. So the Klondike Gold Rush started in 1896 with the discovery of gold. And this is just a little a brief quote from Wikipedia here about the American prospector George Carmack and his taggish wife, uh, Kate Carmack. And so uh, George Carmack was of European descent and his wife was um, of native ancestry and so even in 1896 there was a lot of mixed marriages and so a lot of children would have been born even in this time period that would have had mixed ancestry and um, so a doll could be diverse in many different ways you could be Alaska native with maybe a little bit of Russian ancestry or your other types of European ancestry mixed in a lot of people settled in Alaska even today there's a lot of French speaking there's a lot of Russian there's a lot of English um, and then many people in the US also have mixtures many ancestries um, but I think at least 75% Native Alaskan would be um, cool, maybe more, because sometimes, um, you know, American Girl does mixed ancestries and then they, it kind of washes out the uniqueness of the doll a little bit. So um, just something to bear in mind. I was thinking at least 75%. Um, but as for her collection, I was thinking an igloo house would be really cool. I don't think she should actually like live in an igloo. That might be a little... I don't know, um, a little odd, but maybe she could take a trip to relatives that live further north in an igloo or something like that. Um, kind of a little bit like Kira's collection where she goes to Australia, doesn't actually live in Australia. Um, her parents could own a hotel perhaps that services the gold miners going um, up to the Klondike Gold Rush and that would be really cool to have like a late 1800s hotel theme from Alaska. I think that would be just, there's a lot of fun that could happen there. Um, there could be an ice fishing set that would also be really neat. Um, in the past, American Girl has had a couple fishing sets that aren't any currently released, um, but Kirsten had another historical character had a fishing set, and there was a fly fishing set, um, which was part of, I believe it was the American Girl of Today line, which is kind of the mod, uh, the older equivalent of the Truly Me line. Perhaps you could have a canoe that was like a native canoe. Um, American Girl historical character that's retired, I think she retired in 2016, uh, is uh, Caroline, and she had a skiff. Um, so maybe there could be a canoe. Uh, I was also thinking a dog sled. There was a couple of different versions so of um, American Girl dog sleds for uh, American Girl of the Today, um, the one maybe just like me line, uh, which is similar to the Truly Me, kind of the older versions of the Truly Me. Uh, maybe she could save the day and take a dog sled across the tundra for some emergency supplies for the hotel perhaps, maybe medical supplies, maybe one of the miners. 
maybe there's an accident or something like that and one of the miners you know needs some medical supplies and she takes her her dog across the tundra that would be just really cool um they've made these in the past um it could just be more designed towards a native uh, alaskan um, format for the sled but i think it's something that american girl could easily do um i don't really know what her name should be so please let me know in the comments if you have ideas about what the doll's name should be um again please like this video because i think if it gets more likes american girl might actually see it um so as for creating her i was thinking about face mold choices so nanea had her own face mold which was native hawaiian no other doll has had that so far kaya had her own um, no other doll has had that so far. And then uh, maybe there could be a new face mold. Um, that might be something interesting for American Girl to explore. But since we have this create your own feature on the American Girl website, I thought I would just kind of play around with it um, and kind of show you a couple of options. And I'm going to switch over to there in a moment to show you kind of what I'm thinking of in terms of an American Girl, just to work with the Jess mold. Um, since that's the closest uh, face mold I think that is available on that site um, that would be usable for um, this doll and I was originally picking gray eyes because like they recently released this gorgeous diverse doll with purple hair that has gray eyes and I just think they're really pretty it's not completely you know unimaginable that Alaskan Native would have gray eyes and I just think it would make the doll very unique um, there have been no Jess molds I think released so far that didn't have either brown or hazel eyes and just you know to make it look a look you know just so it would look different I was thinking about that but again it might not fit with the storyline and so this is just kind of like my brainstorming and trying to kind of help American girl out here um and I'm just going to switch over to it live just to show you a couple of the different options okay so I decided to like speed through the Jess face mold um to kind of show you what I'm thinking of these it's the closest I think that would fit with an Alaskan native doll Perhaps the Sonali mold might be interesting to explore. Again, it would be really kind of cool if American Girl were to come up with her own face mold. But, you know, in lieu of that, I think the Jess face mold would work fine. I was thinking, um, you know, Skin Tone 25 um, might work. Um, you know, in general, um, you know, Alaskan Native people would be more tan in the sun. Um, but you know it you know maybe 20 or 25 I think might might work the best um again you know let me go in the comments if you think otherwise I thought to put freckles on because again we haven't had a chest mold yet with freckles so I think that would be really cool and the gray eyes I thought kind of are a darker color and might be neat um if they had a gray eye doll um light brown is also an option and that's um I think would be neat as well um that's what she looks like with light brown American Girl does a lot of hazel eyed and green eyed dolls, and so that's kind of where I'm staying away from those. And I think light blue or blue might be a little bit too, you know, too European looking. And so I think gray might 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 fit the bill, or maybe like some heterochromia that might be might be kind of interesting to do. So like, um, you did right gray, and then you know, left light brown or something might be interesting. I don't know if American Girl would actually sell a heterochromia doll. I'm thinking probably not. And so, you know, either light brown or gray um, would be interesting. Um, as for the hair, like I was thinking like long and straight. I picked black, but you know, dark brown could be interesting. Um, maybe if there was some highlights, it would be kind of, you know, fun. Or maybe she could be you know, if you were to do modern doll, like, it could have interesting hair, like pink or purple. But, again, we're kind of thinking a long time ago, um, so wouldn't probably have that. And a long time ago, they probably would not have bangs, but I just thought she looked really cute with the bangs on, so that's why I did, you know, bangs. Um, but maybe long and wavy, um, or just, you know, long and straight without bangs, and then with braids, um would be cool. I like the double braids. I think they're cute. The double pony is also kind of cute. Um, but I think the double braids is, is just quite adorable actually. Um, I really, and as far as the clothes, you know, she would have to have, you know, some vintage clothes and not any of these clothes, but I gave her kind of like active wear gear because, you know, she's sort of an outdoorsy type girl. 
And, um, and yeah, I didn't put glasses on her because it changes the way they look a lot on these, um, sites. But, like, obviously, you know, on these <laughs> create your own ones, you would pick probably some glasses. But, um, back in the day, they didn't really, wouldn't have that many glasses options. So I think her without glasses would be probably most appropriate. Anyway, if you have good names for her as an Alaska Native doll, um, please let me know in the comments, um, if you think I should get this doll, <laughs> let me know in the comments. I'm actually seriously considering having my own, like, storyline of my own Alaska Native doll that looks like this, because I think that would just be really cool, and I think she looks really cute. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'm hoping to do, um, a couple of additional videos, um, sort of of similar theme, but different kinds of ideas I have about different diverse American Girl historical characters in the future um, that I think would be cool if they did. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. All right, uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And this is back to the original, um, but this is kind of, let me know if you think I should buy her, as I said. Um, I think it would be really neat to have her and um, also what you think would be a cool Alaska native name for her. Um, again, please comment, like, and subscribe. And please, um, I think if you like this video a lot, maybe it'll like move up to the top of the feed and American Girl will get to see it and hear more about kind of some ideas about how to create more um, and new diverse historical characters that I have not yet done yet. And this is actually my hope for doing this video. I'm going to do probably, I already have an idea for like doing maybe three of these kinds of videos um, in the next few weeks. And I think, I think having, you know, if they get a lot of likes, that would be great. And I think if American Girl was to hear about it, that would be really um, awesome. And I just want to say keep on loving dolls. And um, thank you guys so much. I really love interacting with you. And I love having you as part of my uh, doll family. All right. See you again in the next video. Bye.